On this edition of Street Kung Fu, we're going to teach you a BUG drill that's going to make your opponent wish they never touched you. Stick around. What's going on, YouTube fam? This is Seafood Jimmy Man Freddy here coming at you once again for Street Kung Fu with my assistant, as always, Isaac Jones. And today we're going to be teaching you a BUG drill or combination, whichever way you want to look at it, uh, that's going to help you get your hand eye coordination a little better and plus help you learn how to occupy and then clear the center line. All right, so it goes a little something like this we're going to BUG to punch, okay? I'll be throwing BUGs, he'll be throwing punches, okay? down the center line. If I pull my hands away and he keeps going, he'll never hit me as long as he doesn't step forward or leans in or anything. And the same goes for me with my BUG. Now BUG means thrusting fingers or darting fingers, okay? Uh, and then what he's doing is Lin Wan Kun, which is chain punching, which is very synonymous with Wing Chun. Uh, a lot of people think that this is one of Wing Chun's, you know, most powerful techniques and, you know, <clears throat> all the uh, Wing Chun, uh, uh, enthusiasts out there that you know all they want to praise in the world is authentic 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 you know they're going to tell you that that's Wing Chun's greatest technique me personally I find that the Lin Wan Kun is a bridging tool which if I throw my punches in quick succession and then I end up hitting something I you know whether I hit his face hit his chest once something else gets in my way that stops my chain punch and then I can move on to something else all right. Plus, it also teaches you the rotationary factor of all the other you know hand drills like palms, BUGs, and everything else. You know, it keeps that momentum going. Okay. So, with that said, he's going to throw the first one, and I'm going to follow suit. Okay. As we do this, we are aiming to hit. Okay. So, if I pull, as you can see, if I pull my hand away, it's going straight down the center, so he would end up hitting me in my mouth or my nose or whatever. Same with me. You know, if I throw mines and he moves, I'm going to keep going like if I'm going to dart into his eyes or, or, or somewhere around his face. All right. Now, with that said, we go here. Then we pock and chuck jung, side, uh, side palm or, or should I say side blade palm. All right. And then I lops out and chop. OK. And then I pull and go right back into Buji. All right. And then keep going from there. All right, so again, two. I can speed up. Slow down. All right, so it's, it's very good to get your arms going, create repetition. All right, so showing it from this side, Okay, again, BUG, 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 BUG. Now, on this side here, I pop, chuck jung, all right? Then I go up under, lop, and chop, or fox out, out. And then I go right back into BUGs with a lop BUG, and then keep going. All right, it's a very, very cool drill to play with. It, it teaches you how to do a bunch of quick little maneuvers in a very short space, okay? Uh, start from this angle here, all right? Again, going here, nice and slow. That's very systematic, okay? A little bit more speed. Okay, from this side, again. As you can tell, you start learning that, you can start crossing their arms over. Uh, it's very good in chi sao when you guys are do, you know, double rolling. 
you know, you can pick and choose whichever technique. If I go up on boom, 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 and keep going, all right? So it crossed them up even before I even tried, as you can tell, all right? So I can get in here, go in to Chi Sao, Poon Sao, rolling hands, do all that, you know, if he keeps up, that is. <laughs> all right, so we can go from here. I buji, buji, pock, pock, bow, right? And then I can go in, go to the one of our other drills, flow hands, whatever. It, if you do it properly, you can go from drill to drill to drill to drill to drill, to drill all right? This is, you know, it, it, it's all up to the practitioner, all right? It's up to you. You know, if as long as you drill it and drill it and drill it, it should start becoming second nature. So by all means, drill it. Do it nice and slow. Do it systematically like we were doing in the beginning. Nice and slow. Boom. You know, and by all means, practice with your partner. And obviously, I know I shouldn't have to say this, but alternate. Let your partner do it. You do it. Because just as much as I'm learning how to throw it as I do it, Okay, he's learning how to stay on his rhythm no matter what. He keeps throwing those punches, all right? What if I miss? What if I slip? And that punch is coming straight down the middle. He's going to pop me in the nose and the jaw somewhere in my face, okay? So keep that in mind. And also, like I said earlier, if I move my hand away, his punch is coming. The only reason he doesn't hit me is because we're at the proper distance to be able to throw it safely without punching each other in the face. You know, if I wanted to hit him, I'd have to lean in or take a step in in order to shorten the distance my arm has to go. Does that make sense? I hope so. Okay, so with, this, with that said again, one, two, three, all right? And then you can cross them, hit, all right? Go from here and follow, cross, push, hit. I can do it from here, okay, and do the exact same procedure. One, see what I mean? Go right into it. So again, I can go from here. One, two, three, and hit. It teaches you how to snake in, okay? It does, when you pick and choose from it, it doesn't have to look exactly how the drill was, okay? Drills are there to build all the skills you need in order to achieve your objective, all right? So when you're doing drills like this one, you know, that's teaching me certain skills that I need to get past whatever's obstructing my center line or his center line for me to attack it, okay? I can do this same drill, one, two, and then go from here, twist him around and hit. Okay, I can do the same drill, hit low, pull out, boom, and crash them. Okay, so keep that in mind. Pick and choose to create your own system of doing things. Just remember to train the drill the way it's meant to be trained. Once you have a second nature, then cherry pick and then create your own style of utilizing Wing Chun. I mean, once you have this in your head, it belongs to you. You know, no one can tell you otherwise. You know, don't let people fool you into thinking in any system, you know, oh, that's not authentic. Or that's not the way it's supposed to be. Or whatever. That's not the way you're supposed to use it. Did it work? The way that I used it? I used it exactly how I was taught, but in a different fashion. Did it work? If the answer is yes, who cares what they have to say? They're just mad because they can't do it. Keep that in mind. Evolution is always a key to martial arts. It's always been one thing I've said time and time again. If you can't evolve, you're going to be stagnant. You know, the world evolves, combat evolves, you have to evolve your combat methods. Wing Chun is one of those combat methods that have had to evolve. You know, a lot of people think that it's still stuck in the past. No, the right practitioner has helped it evolve. I mean, uh, look at Ip Man, for example, Bruce Lee's teacher which whose lineage I'm under, uh, he evolved it into the methods that he used. The, the methods he taught and are being continued to teach across the globe, you know, it's 
an evolution of the original he was taught by Chan Wa Shen in Foshan. So keep that in mind. Evolution is part of this. Stop being, you know, so stagnant. Keep, you know, keep your mind stagnant. Don't do that. You got to let it go. You got to let it flow. You know, Bruce Lee said it best. It, it has to flow like water. You know, it, uh, water flows, it trickles, or it can crash. You know, you got to be like water. You know, that's not the exact quote. I'm paraphrasing, but you get my point. All right, so practice hard, keep it up, you know. Comment below, let me know how your training is going, all right, if you got any questions. Uh, remember, we're still doing, for every 50th subscriber, you end up getting a Street Kung Fu t-shirt. On the 300th subscriber, we're going to give a Street Kung Fu hoodie, all right. All on me, I'll ship it, I pay for everything, all right. So don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. And by all means, practice safe, and I'll see you next time.